All right, let's test this antenna distortion theory that's been going around. I have my Palm Pre, a prepaid uh, LG deal. This is a little LG phone and the iPhone 4. So we'll fire up the iPhone 4. I'm going to zoom in and hold this thing. I mean, my hand is big, guys. I mean, I, I, this is how I would hold it. Wow. It does cut out. I mean, let's see. I, I, I'm trying to, maybe if I just, signal's not coming back. Okay, now I'm just going to put my hand on the back here. Oop, there goes the signal. That's freaky. So, there we go. It diminishes. That's crazy. I mean, how are you supposed to hold the damn thing? Let me put it. I guess you'd make phone calls like this. Let's see if it comes. Oops, sorry. I'm out of. Let's see if it comes back holding the. Uh, back of the glass here. It's kind of holding at a low signal here. Okay, we'll come back and try it. Try and see if the signal pops back or maybe now it's just in... Alright, let's see this phone here. My little uh, AT&T prepaid thing holding it it's got bars I think it took away one bar See, and the bar came back, so no interference. All right, so let's do the iPhone 4 again. It's at a solid signal. I just tried the LG. Uh, the LG didn't only, I think, just dropped one bar, so here we'll hold it again. It's like immediate. It just drops. That's insane. Look at that. That's pretty creepy. went to nothing. Zero. <whistles> wow. Palm Pre Verizon here. And the signal is, can you see there? It's, it's already missing one bar. Holding it the same. It's on full bars now. Went back to that one bar. Still holding it same. So, no drop in signal, guys. Kind of creepy. We'll go back to the iPhone at full strength again and hold it. Dropping again. All right, so you've just seen it uh, on camera. Uh, with three phones, one one from Verizon, the other from AT and T. I mean, this is crazy. All right, so let's do the LG again. <laughs> yeah, well, the the signal's holding, guys. I mean, what do you want it to do? All right, so let's try the Palm Pre. Again, this is on Verizon. So, no drop.
That lost one bar. Hold on a minute. And it just goes to nothing. Dead. See, it, it just goes to nothing. That's crazy. See, there it came back as I'm touching this the glass. Yeah, that's a real. I mean, I showed the other phones, the other one from AT and T as well. That's a problem. Anyway, with this antenna distortion thing, the one thing that I am really displeased with is Apple's response to simply hold it a different way or buy one of our $30 bumpers. And that's just not acceptable. These are supposed to be products that Jobs would want to own himself in his own words and simply dismissing it in that terms and what I've clearly shown, I mean, this it just dies rapidly when you hold it. I don't know how else to hold it, to be honest with you. It's a beautiful phone. I really do appreciate a lot of the work and the, with the glass and everything, but that is really a bummer. And I can tell you that when I purchased my 3G iPhone. It wasn't something like this where the antenna signals would just drop, but it would be where you couldn't hold a, call, a phone call for what longer than five minutes. It would just drop calls, drop calls, drop calls, drop calls. It wasn't until a couple of patches later that uh, Apple had resolved that issue, and um, I, I believe that they'll find a way to solve this issue. However, it's just, it's, does Apple really want it to be a response and try to say, well, it can happen to other phones, of which I've shown these two. Perhaps there are other phones that it can happen, have the same kind of issue. But is that really the response Apple wants to give? That, well, other people, uh, you know, it's that typical excuse, well, they are doing it too, kind of thing. And, and when usually Apple purports to, to be above the fray. That's the point of buying an Apple product. All right, to be fair, let's just show again. You know, I'm going to hold this as an AT&T phone. I'm not pressing hard at all. Just no tension, just holding it. It does not decrease. That's my LG from AT&T iPhone 4, we're at full bars, I'm not holding it hard, no tension, there it goes, it just drops. Look at that. Now it's almost nothing. Now people say they can get where it says searching. I don't know. I have I guess if we hold it long enough, it'll start searching for a signal. It's on one bar. Or is that zero? I don't know. Well. Holding it and just oh wow there it goes searching so I mean how here I'm trying to be light with it there we go now we're I'll take my fingers off I'll just balance it on the palm of my hand
See if you touch it, that's it. And you let it go, it can pop back. This is my other hand here. <laughs> so this is with my right hand, guys. See if with the right hand I can It's got that one bar there. Not gonna waste too much time, but anyway with the right hand as well. And the palm free on Verizon. It boosted the dang signal, so there you go. Three different phones, Verizon, AT&T, and iPhone 4. All right, we're going to attempt to see if it is a software issue like some blogs are trying to say and see if we get a failed call. So I'm going to call my home. Uh, let me not drop the signal here. All right, it's okay. It started. It seems to be hanging on to the call. Call failed. I'm also reading that it's not likely going to be a software fix for this. This is the antenna and we're talking about human contact. That That's not going to change. They're not going to not make this the antenna. So likely the bumper is going to be the solution. I suspected when I saw the bumpers because Apple I, I have not known to build any cases for the original iPhone, the 3G or the 3GS but yet they made bumpers for this device and when I learned that this was part of the antenna that it made sense you know you don't want to cause interruption to it but that really begs the question why was it designed that way if we're going to need to use bumpers? I'm not sure what they can do to fix it unless we wear gloves or the bumpers, what have you. And that is something that uh, is really part of the design of the iPhone. We shall see.